for a classic ring or a remodeling ring, a typical remodeling ring. So what I wanted to explain to you was, and then, then Vinay's going to take you through this implantation, is that when you look at this new, new ring, and let's look at it over here for a second, and you just hold it in the right position. So, so this is, now look at the difference in this ring. Do we have an, any, any of the old tricuspid rings on you? Do you have a classic or an MC3? If you have one, I just want to show it. Even your new ring we can show. I just want to demonstrate the differences. So now look at how open this ring is. Let's do it this way. Let me give you the, yeah, if you'll just hold it. Look how much more open this ring is. You see the space? It's not five millimeters, it's two centimeters. So this ring is designed to be very open. And the reason it's designed to be that way is because we want to avoid all the sutures in the membrane and septum, right? Membrane and septum goes down toward the mitral annulus, right? On the opposite side of the septum. That's why when you look at a, when you saw us implant classic rings for years or MC3 rings, what shape are they? They're this way. They have that three-dimensional shape because my thumb here is going toward the ventricle, right? Toward the membrane and septum. This is the soft portion of